Below we'll see a practical example of how to use business components. Let's start by laying out the following scenario. All of the travel agency's customers earn miles every time they make a trip. For promotional purposes, the agency decides to launch a customer reward program that gives a free dinner to customers who have earned more than a thousand miles and have not received this benefit before. A page needs to be created in order to give these rewards. We'll use the drag and drop actions to drag the selected customers over an image at runtime. For these customers, the reward will be created automatically and 100 miles will also be credited to them. Let's see our transaction design. For each customer, we record his or her personal details and list of trips made. We also have the number of trips he's made, the number of rewards the agency has given him, and the number of miles credited. We will now see the rules stated and the add rule in particular. It indicates that every time one line with one trip is inserted for one customer, the corresponding number of miles will be added to his total number of miles. In the event of deleting a line with a trip made by the customer, the add rule will subtract the miles corresponding to the deleted trip from the customer's total miles. Let's take a look at the prize transaction. This allows us to record the rewards given. Each reward belongs to a customer, and we've created the following rules to load the reward with the current date. In addition, since it's part of the reward program, we credit 100 miles to the customer. So far, so good. Now let's see the WP Prizes web panel that we created and we will use to fulfill this requirement. This web panel shows all the customers who have earned 1,000 miles or more and haven't been rewarded. As we've said before, the idea is to be able to simply drag customers from the grid to the image and have the rewards be generated for them. Note that we have set the allow selection and allow drag properties to true in the grid. In this way, we've made it possible to select a line from the grid and drag it, respectively. But what should happen when we drag a grid line to the image? If we think about it in our natural language, we can say that a new reward has to be created for the selected customer using the current date, indicating that the reward is a free dinner and crediting 100 reward miles to the customer. What does Genexus offer to resolve this? We use the prize transaction as a business component to insert the reward. And in this way, we leverage the advantages offered by business components. To do so, in the prize transaction, we set the business component property to true. Let's go back to the web panel. In this object, we've created the prize variable of prize data type. Next, we will see how this variable is used to insert the reward. We want to add the reward when the user drops the grid line on the image, and for this reason, the code must be inside the drop event associated with the image. This drop event has to receive, in a parameter, the ID of the customer being dragged. That is to say, its customer ID. Since this event doesn't accept attributes as parameters, we must create a customer ID variable based on the customer ID attribute. Therefore, we include this variable as an event parameter, and Genexus understands that this is the identifier of the grid line dragged to the image. Let's look at the first line of code in this drop event. In the prize variable, we're assigning the dinner text to its prize description member. In the second line of code, the customer that the user dragged from the grid to the image is assigned to the customer ID member of this prize variable. This customer was received in the customer ID parameter. Let's review the following. The prize transaction identifier, that is to say, prize ID, is based on the ID domain that is auto-numbered, so we don't need to assign a value to the corresponding member. 
The rules declared in the prize transaction are triggered when using this transaction as a business component. Therefore, assigning a date to prize date is not necessary. In addition, 100 miles will also be credited to the customer. So far, we've been working in memory. To physically record on the database, let's declare the save method and the commit command, which are both necessary to work with business components. Let's press F5 and see how it works. This button displays a PDF list with all the rewards given. Note that a reward has already been given to customer Peter Smith. Now we'll give a reward to Susan Parker. First, note that she already has 1,250 miles credited. We select the line and drag it to the image. Note that the line immediately disappears from the grid which is the expected behavior because this grid only shows the customers who haven't been rewarded. Let's take a look at the list. We can see that Susan Parker is now on the list of rewards given and that today's date has been used. In addition, 100 extra miles have been credited to her. We've seen how easy it is to create and use a business component. Also, that it provides the same functionality as a transaction. In addition to triggering rules, the consistency of the data assigned and saved has been checked. In this case, the customer value that we assign to the reward is valid because it was dragged from data extracted from the database. However, note that we could have assigned another value or variable loaded in another way and it would have been checked for validation. To end and complete the implementation, let's see the code that we defined in the enter event associated with the prizes awarded button. We've created and used a variable of window data type, which, among other things, allows the display of a PDF list as a pop-up window. In this first line of code, we can see that the object we want to execute has been associated with the object property of the window variable. In addition, note that we can set the window's height and width. Finally, we open the window containing the list.